So I'm Dom, um, I'm the commercial director at Scale Digital. So four or five years ago, um, we started as a traditional affiliate agency, affiliate management agency. And um, in the last sort of 18 months, we've, we've broadened our, our skill set. So now we, we do performance affiliate marketing, influence marketing, mobile marketing. There's some other channels that, that we're investing in. Um, but yeah, we're, we're essentially all about cost efficient user acquisition. That's our, that's our bread and butter. We're, we're less kind of awareness consideration. We're, we're bottom of the funnel, but of course there's a lot of, lot of things, um, that, you know, impact can, can offer that, that now are higher up the, higher up the funnel that we're, we're also getting involved in. So yeah, we're, that's our traditional setup. I'd say the, the main benefits, the reasons would be, uh, there's been a shift like in the last five years really when, when we, we started, there was this whole, you know, agency plus SaaS, you know, thing kind of coming in and, and it, was, it's a dis it was very disruptive and the classic a uh, affiliate network model obviously was still, still reigning, which um, as it would do, you know, that's kind of where it started. Um, and that actually in the last five years, you think now even today, the way brands, agencies, partners are talking about, they want this like split between, you know, it's the flexibility I think is definitely a, definitely a, um, a benefit. I think also from our standpoint, um, we want, you know, there's brands that have lots of intricate integrations, implementations, like all their BI tools, CRM, integrations like there's loads of capability to do on the impact and, and when we're implementing and integrating brands that's quite a crucial part of of what we offer is like they say i want to implement our wider tools i think there's some limitations on the networks to do that or it's not a focus of course because they're not kind of technology first but yeah it's um i think it it depends on the user case but i think the main one for us is brands flexibility and, and we can add more value by actually being experts on one platform not kind of following following the crowds well i mean it depends there's so many there's hundreds and like the advanced reporting suite i mean sometimes you just going to play well, what's that you know and have a look but i mean more recent ones i think we've or well, the team have spent a lot of time with, I think the protect kind of module. So the promo code monitoring, like TM plus brand monitoring, monitoring, obviously it depends on the like life cycle as where you are as a brand. Um, I, I think for, that's probably more geared for the more mature, like established ones that, you know, we've got load of partners on, we've optimized and then I'll look, how do we police this? Um, it's definitely one that's, that's become more topical um, but in general, I mean, we we have clients that are more hands-on than others. Some that are super, like, strategic, and they want to look at contribution analysis, um, which is cool as well. I mean, if we've got the data there and the brand, the brand wants to look at it, we can. All, it's a cool, you know, cool campaign and project to work. Yeah. So I mean, I recently we've we've kind of taken everything apart and and really like i think we have to ask ourselves some hard questions about what value do we add as you know agencies as, as businesses in in the channel because it's constantly evolving and actually when you take it apart we've we've looked at all the key components of you know what what does it take to run a campaign and there's kind of nine we've we've landed on sort of eight or nine that anything from partner discovery, optimization, campaign management, you know, ad ops support, invoicing, financing, validations, all these things that I think um, brands sometimes don't acknowledge a lot of the stuff under the bonnet because of course we're used to talking to head of growth, CMOs that they want to know about partner growth, partner optimization, which is right. But also that's not that's not at all like under the bonnet there's loads of things we're doing behind the scenes that that actually what you know they're paying for that as well not just the partner recruitment so i think we're we're taking everything apart and in our pricing and you know proposals for brands now 
is we, we're really transparent about what, you know, these are the components, this is how we price for it. And that that's, you know, it, when you lay it out and see it like that, you go, there's a lot more to this than, than actually what meets the eye in a lot of respects. So I think it's on us to, you know, really push that home to brands that you're not just paying for like, we're gonna find you a few new partners. There's so much behind the scenes that we do to, to deliver that. So yeah, it's, it's been fundamental for us to, to, to really add and know what value we're, we're bringing to brands. So it, yeah, Impact's been a big part of that. And of course it will continue to be, but um, yeah, we're, we've got to evolve. Like the channel's changing, demands from clients are different and it's on us to, to be ahead of that.